You understand? And that has been my journey, which is why everything that has happened to me while I have been through the current job that I have has led me to, you know, hit rock bottom, Okay, so because of the past of what we just talked about, oh, we can find my battery to click it. Uh, hopefully, we won't lose you. My phone is dying, and I did not think about plugging it in. Go in there. I'll get in my office. Um, sit at my desk. Turn around and look for some cords that are plugged into the outlet. Cords. And we're talking about cords. So you have to plug in with the right cord. So what you, if you go into MW Reveal. Dot com, look for cord switching. You're going to sit there and you're going to have all these people telling you that, that across from you that says, you're supposed to do it this way, you're supposed to do it that way. And literally do exactly what the cord switching says. Now I haven't got the written restrictions up, but I have the, the, the video up. And literally, you need to uh, just start pulling out how you hear all those voices in your head, how you, they tell you that you're supposed to be, the consequences, how you, how you react affects it, because so, it actually stops you from being who you are. Okay, I'm, okay, did you find it? I don't know if these are the cords. It's, it's really going. Just give me, let me see the end of them. Okay, so hopefully I'm not losing you. you got to plug me in, dear. Okay, is that it? Supposed to be. Yeah, it is. Okay. Which okay. one is it? I have no idea. Huh. So your thing is, if you don't plug into your cord, you're going to lose battery charge. You're not going to be able to be charged. You're going to lose your life force. Yeah, your life force is going to go somewhere else. So you need to cut the cord with from the person or people that and that belief system. Okay? Right. Is that working? That makes sense. Okay, so that is the healing part that you need to do in order to be able to not bring your crap to the current position of how you want your purpose. And okay? we have a fresh experience. All those people on YouTube, you're welcome for that life experience of really re-switching your cord and plugging into the right source. Exactly. Life is a metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you go and heal. And, you know, just uh, remember, heal what you can so that you don't take it into the next position. Because once you feel all that pressure off and the way you have to, you know, react, healing that out, you will then allow yourself to be able to take more of your whole self with you when you go into that direction you need. Okay? Wow. Yeah, there it is! Yay, we got it! Hey. <laughs> How can we help you? Okay, and that's that's the energy you think it is, is that you feel like you're placed there? The energy, you said that there was a great, you didn't understand the energy, but you said it's probably um, that you're placed there. Okay, so she wants to understand the reasons why that she's placed there. Okay, so that's that's a different story. Why was she placed there? Why was she the one that was chosen? Why was she the one that was chosen? Okay, whoa. <sighs> Interesting. Do you feel like you aren't the one for him? Okay, because I'm trying to figure out this energy myself. This is very interesting. Um, yes, there is a past life. Um, and, again, uh, there's a part of you that has to show him that everything is forgiven, everything is good, everything, or you're going to convince yourself that everything's okay. Because I feel like you don't, there's a part of you that doesn't believe it, and that's what you're struggling with. I mean, it's like there it says, hey, everything's great, and you're like, mm, I don't know. 
And then it's like, well, wait a minute. You've already, it's, you already had done what you needed to do. Because that past life, from what I can feel, it felt like you had to learn to uh, be forgiven. And he has already forgiven you. And you're like, mm, I don't think so. I think I still need to be forgiven. And, but it's like, no, it's already done. And there's a part of you that says, well, I am the one. But no, I don't think I am the one. Does this make sense? Because it feels like you have a great conflict within yourself because your past life says no, and the the current version of you is saying, oh, yeah, we're done. All right, Jen, what do you got? Uh, to start with the Desert Prince reversed, don't be fooled by the beauty of the Desert Prince now, for you're being faced with a mirage. Sometimes you can't see the truth because your thirst for achievement and recognition may blind you to the true nature of your situation. Don't know if that's it, but perhaps two circumstances prevent you from being able to see with clarity. Beware when faced with something that seems too perfect, miraculous, and easy. If you think it's too good to be true, it is. Pay attention to false promises at this time. Don't be swayed by shortcuts and flattery. The best way out of this is to accept that every life has a desert period. Just accept this for now. Cross it one step at a time. You will be led to green pastures and fresh, clean water with the divine appropriate timing. And then the Lady of the Mirror is both an ally and challenger, um, asking you to see yourself in the mirror made by the events in your life. She represents the powerful force of the law of attraction and reminds you that what you are is what you attract. This isn't to say that you need to blame yourself for inviting transgressions or if you find yourself a victim of a big picture event, say a war. This is a distorted interpretation of this law. Certain events are fated to test our faith. Uh, that's a belief system. Rather, find yourself within the book web woven through your life, your relationships, opportunities, desires, seeming failures, and successes. Observe how you've responded to life's challenges, great and small. Be aware of what is familiar in the present. Release all judgment and accept things as they are. The Lady of the Mirror asks that you honor every part of your story as essential to your highest unfolding. Can you see yourself as being exactly where you need to be on your path? Do you love what you see in the mirror? Can you perceive your part in your reactions and the motives behind your current inquiry? Okay, so what did you walk away, Jen, with? Is that, um, oh man, I gotta go back to this Because part. what I see is this is her past life, the one that says, oh, you have to have all the red flags, you have to do this, you have to, it's like worry and fear. And, and whereas the part here, that she, this, this card that you, the lady in the mirror says, no, everything is just is. It's, it's very good and calm. So she's wrestling because the energy that I got was that 80% of her past life right now is popping up. And she, that's why she's questioning it. That's why all of a sudden she's like, well, what is this? And so I asked the, the past life part of you, well, what is it that you are so... Um, uh, and they said, uh, hmm, drained of? No, that's not what I want. I, they, 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 they want to be heard. They want to make sure that, that they're not going to repeat the pattern. Um, and, but here you're like, I'm not repeating the pattern. So you're arguing within yourself. So now I just have to ask, what does she need to heal? What is it? It feels like um, right and wrong. Now, can you feel that at all, that you have to do everything the right way? I feel, yeah, I feel a real sense of tug of war within myself. Yes. Um, I really do believe that where I am is where I'm supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Not even a doubt. I get a real sense that I may be channeling this late wife. Okay. Uh, so let me just, I want you to think of her and let me just, let me in. Let me think, okay, there you go. No. You're not channeling her, but are you? Does you have objects and stuff in the house? That's hers. Oh yeah. Oh God. Okay. So. Th okay. Okay. That's, that's what I thought it was. That's our, what it our is. One friend that really needed to uh, do the house cleansing.